All right, um, we are gonna be trying to work on this little game that I've been kind of making some videos about. We're gonna try to build an inventory. Now, I don't have too much time tonight. I'm kind of tired, but I do wanna just try to force myself to work. Going back to that video that I kind of talked about of like, how do I allocate my time? I try to make it a routine of sit, sitting down and just like adding some type of functionality or features to my side project so I can like make slow and steady progress. So we have like a little, I, item belt is what we're calling it at the bottom of this page which you might not be able to see so let me just go ahead and bring up my editor here like this go ahead and refresh my page so you guys can see it there we go so we have an item belt and once you destroyed one of these enemies you can actually press e to get the potion and you can actually drop this potion back on the ground but we don't actually have like an inventory where you can take these items and either equip them or have like an, another st uh, spot. So for example, if you play like Diablo 2, uh, Diablo 1, or most like games in general like Minecraft, usually you have like your item belt, but then you also have an actual inventory. So let's try to add some type of inventory. In our application, we are using Vue for the UI overlays, uh, for the experience overlay that Daria just added recently. The health is all in view, the item belt's in view. But the actual game itself is all HTML canvas using Pixie.js, which is like a, a rendering library you can use. Um, so let's try to figure out how to make an inventory. And I think the best place to start would be just copy how the item belt is working and let's just literally call it inventory dot view. And when we've created the inventory, I don't even remember where the item belt is set up. I think it's in game renderer maybe. So let's go down here and let's add in the inventory uh, thing. And let's just go ahead and self-close that, I, I guess. Okay, so we might need to also import it from that file that we just created. There we go. Now the goal is, if I take that inventory I just added, and I just comment out some of this stuff because we don't we don't really need it. One thing I like to do is just comment out code that you're not currently using yet, so you can get a better picture of like what you're doing. Um, but let's just go ahead and do this. That stuff's fine. Okay, so we have the inventory, and let's just go ahead and start with this. And the first thing I want to do is I want to be be able to like display some type of inventory, and it's going to probably involve a 2D grid of like 4x5 or 5x4. Um, so maybe we can start with that and just set up like a grid system. Uh, for right now, I'll just use divs. But for the inventory itself, we will say display is... Do we want to make this grid or do we want to make this CSS grid? I think we want to say grid. We'll try grid for right now. And then we can also say grid template columns. It's going to be repeat I think it's one FR and then you can say the amount of times to do it. I always, I always swap these. Is it one FR to begin with or is it the other way around? All right, so the idea is we should get an inventory displayed to the screen somewhere, but what we probably need to do first of all is actually put slots in here. So let's just add a div here and I'll call it slot. We might be able to have some reuse between the slots that we used in the item belt in these slots that we used um, in this inventory, at least styling wise. So let's just go ahead and grab, uh, yeah, let's just grab this. You know what, I'm just gonna grab all this. I'm gonna say inventory slot. And on the inventory itself, we want to import the inventory slot. So let's go ahead and do that here. Inventory slot. And like I've mentioned before, I don't really plan out what I'm doing. I kind of just write code and I refactor the code along the way. I let it grow organically. If you like to sit back with pencil and paper and really design out what you're doing, that works as well. You might save yourself some time or you might waste time. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the button for right now. And I'm going to hard code a string here. I'll just say like potion. Uh, and we'll call this inventory slot. And I'm going to rename everywhere we have item belt slot to inventory slot. 
Some of the stuff we don't need yet, so I'll get rid of the button stuff. Fan, that's fine. Um, what else can we kind of comment out? Just trying to get the least amount of code to figure out what we can actually like reuse and what we need to like delete. So if I make a couple of slots here, does that show up on the page? Uh, it does not, it actually crashes because I need to actually say inventory slot like this. Make a couple of those. And there is some red in this file, so let's go back, figure out what exactly it's planning, complaining about. Complaining about this, vbind content. Interesting. Go ahead and delete that. That's something I have not done in Vue before, is like you can bind in your CSS to like properties of the thing that was passed in as props. Um, pretty interesting, I just haven't really used it before. I'm not sure why we need that though. Because the content of the span, I think it was already displayed here. Anyway, so the goal is, can we get something displayed on the page? Uh, let's just try to figure out where that overlay will be. Let's see, let's see. All right, we have inventory here and Right now, it looks like it's off the page. So it's like, oh, it's down here at the bottom. All right, so now you see we have the inventory down here, which isn't good. We want to give this thing position of like absolute. I'll say position of absolute. Like so. That should put it at least like somewhere on the page, I would think. Let's refresh the page. It's still not there. So let's look at how we did it for the item belt. Uh, we just gave it a display of flex. Interesting. I don't remember where I told it to be like positioned at the bottom of the page. Some, somehow I'm positioning this at the bottom of the page. I don't remember where. Um, so let's go up here. Oh, I think it's, it's here. Okay. So I don't know why we're giving classes here. This seems kind of weird. That might need to be refactored. I feel like the class should be defined inside the inventory itself, but I guess we want to control the layout at a higher level. So let's just go ahead and like do um, this. Item belt grid column two, grid row three align self flex. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, I, get, I think we have a grid system set up. So like one, two, three, four. But really, th this shouldn't really be part of the grid. It should just be centered on the page. So I want to see if that's even possible to do. I guess I could give it like a position of absolute. Left 50%. And I'll say transform translate minus 50%. See what happens if I do that. All right, um, we've probably also wanted to do the same thing for the X. So I'll just go ahead and say 50% on the X direction. I'll say top 50%. Okay, so we have an inventory that like pops up over the player. Um, now we want to make it like, what do we want to do? We want to make it, uh, put a bunch of slots here and see what happens. Grid template columns for one FR. Let's try that. Here we go. Okay, so we want like, how many do we want? One, two, three, four, five by four, maybe? You think that's enough inventory slots? Probably. So five by four, that's 20. So we basically want to loop over and create 20 inventory slots. Now, we could probably just go here and say like, const inventory slots is equal to new array. I'll say 20, I'll say fill, and then I'll fill it with like, just an empty string for right now. Yeah, it's probably fun. So this will give us access to actually do like a for loop here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say like v4, and I'll say lot in inventory slots. Go ahead and delete this. And now we should get 20 of those. 
looks pretty good, although I'm going to add a 5 here so that it kind of looks a little bit better. Um, so these will be like our items where we can kind of drag potions from here to here or vice versa. But what we also want to do is we probably want to put like some type of player grid over here, right? So like a picture of a, a skeleton or a player and then have slots over their head, their feet, their legs, their left arm and their right arm, and maybe their torso. I like Minecraft. Um, but this is inventory. We should probably have... Um, what are we going to call this thing? This will be called our... Dash. Our backpack. I don't know. I'm just going to make it a div. So we'll have like a div for the backpack, but then on the left side, we're going to have the actual like equip. Um, right now I'm doing divs. Maybe I'll think of a better way to like name these. But I'm going to go ahead and put a class onto this. I'm going to call it backpack. And I'm going to move the styling for backpack. Like so. And then for inventory. I'll just put like a smiley face like that and let's see where the smiley face shows up it shows up up here but we really want it on the left right we went left and right so we could say inventory is display of flex and that should hopefully put them left and right and then on the backpack itself uh, I shall say this will be the the silhouette I'll just call it equip I don't know equip we want to kind of put probably one, two, three, probably four rows. So we'll do like a, I guess we could do a grid again. Um, actually, we could probably say display a flex. Let's just do that. Display a flex. But we're going to say flex direction is going to be column. Like this. I think it's column. Is it column or columns? I think it's column. And we're going to go ahead and just put some more slots here. Like that. But in this case, we don't want to four over these. We're just going to go ahead and just put them hard coded. And again, I said one for the head, one for left arm, torso, right arm, legs, feet. Probably good enough right now. But the idea is that these all need to be grouped into a single row. So I'm just going to go ahead and say like this will be a row. I think my format on save is off. Let me turn that back on. Okay. So again, we're going we're gonna to say equip, and then we'll say the row is going to be a display of flex as well. Looks pretty good. But we should probably also align these all centered. So I don't know if we need to, like, on equip, we could say items center. Is that how you do it? There we go. So far, so good, I think. But the issue is that the backpack is gone now. Where'd the backpack go? It's like gone. So I probably screwed up some of the styling. Display of grid. Grid template columns for the backpack. Oh, I got rid of the for loop. That's what's going on. So I need to add back that V4. And that was like slot of inventory slots like that there we go now for the inventory let's just say like a gap of 20 pixels not enough let's do 40 pixels okay and we will put we're going to make this whole panel like kind of like oh transparent white so on the inventory itself i'll say background is white or I'll say red, green, red, green, blue, alpha. I'll say 255, 255, 255, and I'll say 0 0.7. Just so we got some type of inventory. Now, we've been using this tan color for a lot of stuff. I think tan would probably be a better. Now, I don't know what, what color that is. X shadow, background filter, blur. Here it is, surface. Does it have a surface defined somewhere as like a surface view? So is he wrapping this in a surface? He is. Okay, let's do this. Um, I think I kind of jumped the gun with just like grabbing code, which I 
didn't really know what I was doing. So I'm going to undo a lot of that stuff. And for right now, I'm just going to keep it as it was. And we're going to wrap this whole thing in something called a surface, which I didn't know existed. But I'm going to go ahead and use it, and I'll say this will be inventory HUD. And we will just go ahead and do that. Um, now, I thought adding the surface would have fixed that. Oh, I don't think I even imported it. I don't know what's wrong with my VS Code, but if if I can get some feedback as to like what's going on, you know, I'll message you uh, in the Discord. We'll talk about that. Um, okay. So yeah, it's showing up now. It took a while to get going, but I just forgot to import it. We got the cool little inventory here. We got a bunch of potions. I don't want a hard code potion anymore. I'm actually going to delete that. Delete this. Don't need surface open anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Probably don't need that. Um, we are rendering out in the inventory slot potion. I'll just delete it for right now. And I feel like the border is a little bit thicker in some places. Like I could turn the border off for the bottom. Anyway, I think I'm going to add one more thing. I'm kind of losing steam. Um, but this isn't an okay uh, Bot now let's just go ahead and clean up some of the code so that we don't have a bunch of like copy and paste code everywhere before i like commit this and what we're going to do is we're going to go to well let's also clean this one up too i just deleted this from the begin to begin with all right so i want to make it so this thing only shows up oh no what did i delete I deleted inventory slot. Okay. I want this thing to only show up when you press I. So what I'm going to do is I do believe there's a way to like open a pause menu. You press escape and that opens that up. But I don't know where that's defined. Like where's, where's the pause menu even set up? Pause menu. Um, that has its own. Just look at the pause menu. Use event listener EFE if code is escape opened. Oh, okay. All right, so we want to basically make it so when the user press, presses I, it's going to open up this inventory. And now the way we could do this is in the inventory itself, I could just go ahead and paste in some code that I found to basically listen for when a key is typed. And if the code is equal to key I, I think we could just toggle this is open flag. And on this itself, I could just say V if, uh, if this thing is on, then we'll show it. So let's see if this even works. Press I, and then we have toggled it on and off. Pretty straightforward. And that's, I think this is all I have the energy tonight for. I'm like stumbling with my words and it's hard to think, but I think that's a good enough step in the right direction of adding some type of basic inventory. Now the next parts would be like allowing us to click and drag items into these slots keeping track of some type of real game state of what items are inside these slots. Um, working on the ability to equip certain items here. It's going to be a lot of work to get this going, but I think this is a step in the right direction. Uh, so if you enjoyed watching, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, press the bell icon, and uh, feel free to join my Discord if you want to talk to me directly or just try to get some help with whatever programming stuff you might be stuck on. Have a good day and happy coding.